classmates! It's me, Mike Kin. And this time, pag-usapan natin yung angle of elevation choo-choo at yung angle of depression choo-choo na yan. Isama na rin natin yung mga real-life application choo-choo nila sa trigonometry. <laughs> Ang daming choo-choo. Hashtag choo-choo. <laughs> anyway, before tayo mag-start, make sure na naintindihan mong mabuti yung trigonometric ratios at sokatowa. Kung hindi pa, maglalagay ako ng link ng playlist natin below sa description box. Check it out. Anyway, isang mahalagang paalala. Ang mag-subscribe ay makakatanggap ng message galing kay Crush. Ihi, ay. At ang mag-skip naman ng ads ay magkakaroon ng bilog-bilog na libag sa kilikiri. <laughs> Yak. Anyway, Ready ka na ba? Tara, perfectin natin yung quiz mo. Simulan natin sa ating vocabulary words. Tawagin na rin natin yung maganda nating model. <laughs> yes naman, ang lakas ng loob. Anyway, yung maganda nating model ay nakatitig sa harapan. Ibig sabihin, ito yung kanyang line of sight. Pag yung maganda nating model ay nag-look up, mag-iiba na yung kanyang tanaw. So, ito na yung bagong line of sight. At pag yumuko naman siya, syempre, iba na rin yung bago niyang makikita. So, ito yung ating bagong line of sight. Therefore, the line of sight is the line from an observer's eye to a distant point. This time, mag-drawing tayo ng horizontal line. At tawagin na rin natin ulit yung maganda nating model. Psst! Uy! Yan! So, yung ating magandang model ay nakatingala. Malamang may nakikitang ibon yan sa taas. So, ito yung kanyang line of sight. Yung angle na nabuo ng horizontal line at ng line of sight, yan ang tinatawag na angle of elevation. Ngayon naman, nakayuko yung ating magandang model. Malamang may nakikita yung ta eh, talbos ng kamote. So, ito yung kanyang line of sight. Yung nabuong angle ng horizontal line at ng line of sight, yan ay tinatawag na angle of depression. Uy, dumaan si Crush. So yung titig ng model ay padiretsyo or parallel sa ating horizontal line. Pag ganyan, wala tayong angle of depression at wala ring angle of elevation. Tandaan, pagpataas, angle of elevation at pagbababa, angle of depression. Remember, the angles of elevation and depression are always measured from the horizontal. Try natin. A flagpole 10 meters tall is on level ground. It casts a shadow 19 meters long. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? So, simulan natin by drawing our ground and yung sun. Tapos, chap-chapin natin yung problem. Simulan natin dito. Sabi, meron daw flagpole na 10 meters tall. So, ito yung flagpole natin. Tapos, don't forget to write 10 meters. Sabi rin sa problem, it casts a shadow 19 meters long. Ibig sabihin, yung flagpole ay merong shadow. Dahil ito yung sun natin o yung ating source of light, syempre, wala dito yung ating shadow. Wala rin dito. At higit sa lahat, utang na loob wala sa sky. Okay? Huwag niyong pag-initin yung ulo ko. So, therefore, nandito yung ating shadow. At syempre, walang shadow na detach sa object. Ayan. So, sulat natin dito, 19 meters. Then, remember, pag sinabing angle of elevation, we have to check the horizontal line, which is this blue line. Kung dito mo drawing yung line of sight, syempre, wala yung sense. Dapat, pakabilang direksyon para dadaanan niya yung tuktok ng flagpole tsaka yung sun. So, meron na tayong horizontal line at line of sight. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ating angle of elevation. May napapansin ka ba? Yes, nakabuo tayo ng right triangle. We can now use trigonometric ratios to solve for theta. Kung hindi ka pa familiar sa Sokatoa, meron tayong links dun sa ating description box. Check it first. So, ito yung ating reference angle. Yung 19 meters ay adjacent side at yung 10 meters ay opposite side. 
alin sa sokatowa yung gagamitin natin. Remember, meron kang opposite at adjacent, O and A. Yes, yung towa. Ibig sabihin, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, bring down natin yung tan. Then, yung theta natin, unknown. So, theta pa rin to. Yung opposite side natin ay 10. Over our adjacent side, which is 19. Since we are only solving for theta, gusto natin mawala yung tan. So, lipat natin siya sa kabilang side. Magiging arc tan. Huwag kakalimutan isulat yung negative 1, ha? Then, we can now use our calculators. But make sure that your calculators are set in degree mode. So, pag sinimplify, theta is equal to 27.76 degrees. At ikaw ay sinumpa ng unlucky palakol. Fun fact, mukhang number 7 yung palakol. Kaya, palakol ang tawag sa mga grades na line of 7. Ano, hindi mo pa rin ba tatapusin tong video to? One more. The angle of elevation of the top of a tree from a point 15 meters away its base is 66 degrees. Find the height of the tree. So, i-drawing muna natin yung problem. Meron tayong puno at meron ding ground. Chop-chopin natin yung word problem. According dito, meron daw na point 15 meters away from the base of the tree. So, ito yun. Then, don't forget to include 15 meters. Tapos, yung angle of elevation daw ay papunta dun sa top ng tree. So, ito yung ating horizontal line at ito yung ating line of sight. Yung ating angle of elevation ay 66 degrees. So, sulat natin siya dito. Ayan. Next, we have to find the height of the tree. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ating unknown or x. May napapansin ka ba sa ating drawing? Yes, nakabuo na naman tayo ng right triangle. So again, we can use trigonometric ratios to solve for x. Based sa ating reference angle, itong 15 meters ang ating adjacent side. Yung x naman, yung opposite side. So alin sa sokatowa yung gagamitin natin? Yes, yung towa. Ibig sabihin, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. So, substitute natin. Bring down natin yung tan. Yung theta naman ay 66. Tapos yung opposite ay x. Over our adjacent side which is 15. So, in this case, ang gusto lang natin masolve ay yung x. Kailangan mawala yung divided by 15. To do that, we will multiply both sides by 15. So, makakancel na ito. Ang matitira... 15 times tangent 66 equals x. Again, we can use our calculators. So, magiging 33.69 equals x. At huwag kakalimutan yung unit of measurement which is meters. So, therefore, the height of the tree is 33.69 meters. Level up tayo. Pero bago yan, familiar ka ba sa Coast Guard? Sila yung nagpoprotekta sa ating mga natural resources at security. Meron silang mga malalaking barko at mga helicopters. So, a Coast Guard spotted a ship in distress out at sea. The angle of depression is 14 degrees. Calculate the distance from the Coast Guard station to the ship if the station is at a height of 220 meters above sea level. Again, Chap-chapin natin yung problem at ang goal natin ay makabuo ng right triangle. So, sabi dito, a coast guard spotted a ship in distress out at sea. So, ito yung ating sea, ito naman yung ship, at ito yung coast guard. Then, the angle of depression is 14 degrees. Huy! Pay attention na, kasi maraming nagkakamali dito. So, ang ginagawa ng karamihan, ito drawing nila yung line of sight. Tama naman. At dahil sinabing angle of depression or pababa, usually sinusulat na nila dito 14 degrees. Mali yan. Kasi remember, pag sinabing angle of depression, dapat with respect to the horizontal line. 
So, dapat itapat natin itong horizontal line sa ating Coast Guard. Ayan. Yung nabuong angle ng horizontal line at saka nung line of sight, yan ang ating angle of depression. At dahil parallel line sila, pwede rin nating sabihin na 14 degrees itong part na to. Next, calculate the distance from the Coast Guard Station to the ship. So, ito yun. Ibig sabihin, yan yung ating unknown or X. Then, the station is at a height of 220 meters above sea level. So, ito yun. Then, don't forget to write 220 meters. Ayan. May nakikita ka na bang right triangle? Yes. Pwede na natin gamitin yung trigonometric ratios to solve for x. So, ito yung ating angle. Ito naman, opposite side. At yung x, hypotenuse. So, alin sa sokatowa ang gagamitin natin? Remember, meron kang opposite at hypotenuse, O and H. Yes, yung so. Ibig sabihin, sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. Substitute natin. That is sine. Yung theta natin ay 14. Yung opposite ay 220 over hypotenuse na x. So, kung napanood mo na yung trigonometric ratios natin na video, alam mo na ang shortcut dito ay exchange lang. So, ibig sabihin, x is equal to 220 over sine 14, which will give us 909.38. At huwag kakalimutan yung unit of measurement natin na meters. Therefore, the Coast Guard is 909.38 meters away from the ship. Ready ka na ba sa pang malakasang level? A yacht was observed from the top of a 100 meter high cliff at an angle of depression of 28 degrees. An hour later, the same yacht traveling directly away from the coast was observed at an angle of depression of 18 degrees. How far had the yacht traveled between the two observations? Tara, chap-chapin natin. Simulan natin sa statement na to. So, meron tayong ground or coast, meron tayong cliff na 100 meters high, at meron din tayong yacht. Next, an angle of depression of 28 degrees. So, kung nagpipay attention ka kanina, dapat alam mo na na ito ay with respect sa ating horizontal line. So, ito yung ating line of sight. Therefore, the angle of depression is located here. Ayan, 28 degrees. At dahil parallel itong dalawang lines, we can also say that this is 28 degrees. Then, an hour later, the same yacht traveling directly away from the coast, ibig sabihin gumagalaw yung yacht, Yan, was observed at an angle of depression of 18 degrees. So, bago na yung location niya, ibig sabihin bago na rin yung angle of depression. So, again, ito yung line of sight at ito yung angle of depression. Again, parallel to ha. So, 18 degrees din to. Gets ba? Next, we are solving for the distance or how far had the yacht traveled. Meaning, from point A to point B. So, yan yung ating unknown or X. Nakikita mo na ba yung ating right triangle? Tama. We can now use trigonometric ratios to solve. Pero bago yan, take note. X lang yung kailangan natin. So, to do that, we need to solve for this line. Let's call it Z. Then, isusubtract natin itong line na ito. Let's call it Y. So, Z minus Y will give us X. Nasundan ba? Tara, try natin. To solve for Z, magpo-focus tayo dito sa ating big triangle. So, ito yung ating reference angle. Ito yung ating opposite side. At ito naman, adjacent side. Alin sa sokatowa ang gagamitin natin? Yes, towa. Meaning, tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent side. Let's substitute. So, we have tangent. Then, yung theta is 18 degrees. Yung opposite naman, 100 meters. At yung adjacent side, Z. So, to solve, 
gagamitin lang natin yung pinagbabawal na technique or exchange. <laughs> so, z is now equal to 100 over tan 18. Or, z is equal to 307.77. Magkalimutan, meters. Ngayon na meron na tayong z, time to solve for y. To do that, we will focus on this triangle. So, ito ang ating reference angle. Take note, ibang triangle na, kaya iba na rin yung ating reference angle. Then, ito ang ating opposite side, at yung y ang ating adjacent side. So, alin sa soka towa ang gagamitin natin? Yes, towa pa din. Ibig sabihin, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Substitute natin ulit. Tangent, 28 degrees equals 100 over y. Exchange ulit. So, y is now equal to 100 over tan 28. Simplifying, that is 188.07 meters. So, meron na tayong z and y. We can now solve for x. To do that, x is equal to z minus y. So, z is 307.77. Then, minus y, which is 188.07. And we will get x equals 119.7 meters. Therefore, 119.7 meters yung difference between the two observations. Gets ba? Try it! Testingin natin kung strong ka na pagdating sa angle of elevation at angle of depression. Solve the word problem. You can pause this video and play it again pag may sagot ka na. Ready? I-drawing muna natin. So, meron tayong ground at tower. Sabi dito, the angle of elevation of the top of a tower is 39 degrees. So, ito yung ating horizontal line at ito naman yung ating line of sight. So, yung angle na nabuo niyan, yan yung ating angle of elevation, which is 39 degrees. Then, sabi dito, as seen 400 meters away from the base of the tower. Ibig sabihin, 400 meters tong part na to. Then, we have to calculate the height of the tower. Meaning, this is our unknown or x. Nakita mo na ba yung right triangle? Tama. Let us now use Sokatoa to solve for x. Ito yung ating angle. Ito naman, adjacent side. At itong x, opposite side. Alin sa Sokatoa ang ginamit mo? Tama ka kung towa yung pinili mo dahil meron tayong opposite at adjacent side. So, sulat natin dito, tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Then, let's substitute. Tangent, our degrees is or our theta is 39 degrees. Our opposite side is x. And our adjacent side is 400 meters. So, to solve for x, we have to multiply both sides by 400. Cancel na to. Ang natira, 400 times tangent 39. Using our calculators, we will arrive at 323.91. Huwag kakalimutan yung unit of measurement. Therefore, the height of the tower is 323.91 meters. Nakuha mo rin ba? If oo, Ikaw ay certified na matindi. Sana marami kang natutunan sa video na ito. Till next time!